It was predictable, and yes, it's happening. Another caravan is forming. Migrants are gathering in Guatemala, in a city in Guatemala, right on the border with Honduras. They plan to head north into Mexico and then on to our border, just like the first caravan. The Democrats' caravan problem just got worse. They are very reluctant to say what they will do when the marchers reach the U.S.-Mexico border. Instead of a clear policy or statement, the left simply snipes at President Trump, implying he is scaremongering and dividing the country. At another of those impromptu Q&A sessions in the White House yesterday, reporters took issue with his assertion that Middle Easterners and gang members were mixed in with the migrants. They took issue with his assertion that the Democrats were behind it all. This line of questioning is really a distraction. The real question is, what is America going to do now that we're faced with the mass migration of people from Central America? Let them in or keep them out? The president's clear. They're not coming here. He'll put the military on the border. He will close the border if necessary. Of course, I mean this, there is a humanitarian issue here. Who wouldn't feel sympathy for poor women and children struggling along a thousand-mile journey in the heat of central Mexico? Americans are generous. We take in more immigrants than any other country in the world, and our response to the caravans should reflect that generosity. But Central America's dire straits cannot be used as an excuse to bust through borders on a mass scale. This is what the left is encouraging. If that's what they want, they should say it, but they won't. In 2005, Barack Obama is on tape saying, we can't allow undocumented people pouring in. My, how times change. Democrats are not saying that now because they know America does not want an open border. It is President Trump who has the political courage to say it.